a right-wing proposal being considered in the GOP constituency that would eliminate the federal income tax but replace the source of federal income with a sales tax totaling 30 percent lacks the support of the country's top Republicans. Home, including Kevin McCarthy, as the report shows. As for the amount of revenue raised through the tax, the measure would hit lower-income Americans if enacted. Representative Steve Scalise, Republican Louisiana, who also leads the House Republicans, also expressed his opposition. More recent reports say that McCarthy agreed during negotiations before he eventually won the job of Speaker of the House to a committee hearing the controversial tax plan It is unclear whether if it is different from that which may exist. Top Republicans told Axios that McCarthy's deal guarantees the bill will be heard in committee, the site reported earlier this week, with a member of McCarthy's close ties to the Republican negotiations saying wide and dislodged. Any legislative proposal by anyone should go to committee regularly, have a hearing, explain it and be able to be amended, Rep. French Hill, Republican Arkansas, said. Predictably, the plan received strong and consistent opposition from Dems, including President Joe Biden, who also commented that the bill had already been passed by new Republicans in the House. And extra money. Another for the IRS. The pressure to support the federal tax agency has led to surprising and inaccurate statements from leading Republicans about alleged threats of violence from armed IRS agents against potential targets of the agency. Only a small part of the company's employees are armed, trying to claim that there is some kind of document or even a suggested or imagined plot based on the physical safety of the people own a small business in Iowa or any other state. Really empty words. We've simplified the code and eliminated a lot of loopholes, so I want to see us focus on quality and simplicity in the tax code, Scalise told The Hill, arguing for the expansion. The timing of part of the tax reform that the Republicans passed during the Trump administration. Some right-wing activists have already supported measures that would increase the national sales tax, including GOP representatives Scott Perry, Ralph Norman, Matt Gates, and Marjorie Taylor Greene. Representative Byron Donalds, Republican Florida, who helped lead the unsuccessful opposition among Republicans to McCarthy becoming president, is also a supporter of the process, which appears to have been referred to the committee. House Ways and Means, Where New GOP Chairman Rep. Jason Smith also spoke about the public hearing. We're going to have a public statement, obviously on this issue, and we'll see where it goes, Smith told Axios.